I've been taking antibiotics, antibiotics, because I had an operation on my tooth and I was prescribed antibiotics. But I haven't been taking any probiotics. So now my, my stomach is, is doing all this. Because I was given the probiotics. I have them right there. But I was just like, I don't need to take these. <laughs> I was sitting in church today and my guts were bubbling. Anyway, I don't want to give you TMI. But if you're taking antibiotics, make sure you have probiotics. You can have natural probiotics. I know like yogurt, like plain yogurt. I don't know what else. <laughs> issues will be settled sooner, sooner rather than later sooner rather than later what the hell is up what's, what's going on in my eyebrow um, I have a patreon you should check out I'm building that just post random videos on there, ASMR, my thoughts on things, I write my thoughts on things, I post my songs on there. I'm doing a song a day challenge. Goes to make a song a day until the end of the year, or on day 100, and today's day 108. And you know, it, it gets tiring, but um, I'm praying that I can make it to the end, that God empowers me to keep going and keeps giving me ideas going strong so uh, you get early access to those songs then they they, they I, every friday seven songs a week seven songs every friday so this past friday i dropped some songs link in the description if you want a link to my spotify the music youtube link in the description if you want to see my patreon for, for patreon you get a seven which is always dope free trial yeah free trial Free trial, free trial, free trial, free trial. Go check that out. I just ate these delicious spring rolls. These are lovely spring rolls. Um, they're quite, they're quite tasty. And I enjoyed them. <laughs> That's all that I wanted to say. I just wanted to say I had spring rolls and they were tasty. I also have this chicken pie. That I'll eat once. I told myself that it's a reward for finishing this video, so I'm gonna eat that um, once the video's done. Then these are my probiotics. Flora, Pro B, Pro by Flora. I think the company's called Pro by Flora. And you hear the oh, damn it. One of the pills fell out. But yeah, um, currently playing Guardians of the Galaxy, the video game. Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Rocket, man. Rocket is such an entertaining character. If you don't know the Guardians of the Galaxy, they're these Marvel characters. And 
they're like a team of space faring adventurers i guess but what else the low high key they're criminals they just <laughs> um yeah they, they, they usually up to no good but you know they, they save the galaxy from time to time as well like what 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 do they actually do like officially like what what's their actual I think they just do random odd jobs or something. Like if they're needed somewhere, they just go do that. And then they, they keep finding themselves in situations where they have to save the universe or something like that. Um, I don't know, but the game is cool. I'm not a fan of the, the gameplay per se. The gameplay is very like simple. It, it has some complexity to it, but the, the core mechanic isn't that fun to me. Because you use Star Lord, who's already not. When it comes to his powers, he's not that interesting of a of a superhero, right? He's a, he's his personality is great and he's funny and he's charming and this and that, but his powers are not that fantastic. He's just he's basically like a a gun toting dude. Like he doesn't really he has powers sort of, but they only work through his guns. Like he can. His dad is an alien of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what his powers are, how they work, to be honest, but he seems like a pretty normal guy with guns. Honestly. Um, so, you know, the, the, the gameplay is basically you use these guns to shoot enemies, but the way it works just press and hold I have a I have a PlayStation so you just press and hold this and this is how you shoot you just and then the gun overloads and then it gives you like this gauge like there's a, a meter bar and you have to stop the little um, cursor like there'll be a metered bar with a green section and there's a cursor that's moving down the meter you stop the cursor when it gets to the green section of that meter and then he can unleash like a a powerful blast when the gun overheats so it'd be like you're shooting 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 gun overheats brr, the meter appears the cursor is going down the, the the meter and then you, you press this when it hits the green part and then he unleashes a powerful blast and that's essentially it and and yeah the gun is um and the gun has like elemental powers so it's got like lightning wind ice and i think fire i haven't unlocked fire yet but i have lightning i have wind i have ice and you press and hold this one r1 To unleash that those ones but it's like it's very simple stuff and you know it, it gets challenging it can be simple and challenging but it's for me it's like it's not my cup of tea i prefer something more engaging like a more a slightly more complex control scheme like i don't know I love games like Uncharted. Uncharted is so fun. And the gameplay is so addictive. People people trash Uncharted. They say it's, it's, the gameplay is not it's very average and da 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 it's this and that. I'm like, you're crazy man. Uncharted wouldn't be what it is. It wouldn't be as big of a deal if it was the this average boring game that like what's the appeal? If it's not a great game, is it what the story? The story is amazing, but I don't think that's why people are playing it. I don't think that's why gamers across the board love that franchise. It doesn't have average gameplay. It has phenomenal gameplay. Um, the shooting is so fun and addictive. And it's, you could argue that it's simple compared to other shooters. But... 
I, what I would say is it works for that game. It works in the context of what Uncharted is supposed to be. It's the cinematic experience, this action adventure. I don't, if, I don't think they should be doing too much in terms of the mechanics. Otherwise, it can distract you from the overall experience. Which is, and part of that is the story, is the, the cinematic story. So I think the fact that they kept it simple yet fun and and the, the, the loop is just addictive, the gameplay loop is addictive, I think that, that was smart. Because it keeps you invested in the story. It's a, it's a, it's a story. And I think the, the way they, they packaged it was, was brilliant. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Uncharted. I loved Uncharted 4. I think Uncharted 4 is the best one. Yeah. Uncharted 4. People say Uncharted 2. I like Uncharted 2. I think Uncharted 4 is the best one. Yeah. Just across the board. The story is phenomenal. The gameplay is a peak. Like just, oh my god. I want to play it again almost. Everything about that game is just phenomenal. The puzzles were great. Did Uncharted 4 have the best puzzles? I don't know. I don't know about the puzzles. But they're pretty challenging puzzles. But yeah, the story was... Yeah, I don't think you can compare. Uncharted doesn't have great villains. Like, the villains in Uncharted are... Okay. Lazarovich Uncharted 2 was, was meh. He wasn't that memorable of a villain. Uncharted 3, Marlo, that lady. She was okay. She wasn't bad, but you know. Yeah. Uncharted 4, Rafe. Is his name Rafe or Rafe? Rafe, I think it was Rafe. He was actually, I actually thought he was interesting. Oh, not that interesting, but you know, I thought he was a bit more human than the other ones. That like we knew more about him and we understood his motivations a bit more. And there was more of a story to him. So I thought he was the most relatable of the villains and the most personal, personal of the villains. And um, Nadine Ross wasn't really a villain. She was an antagonist, but like, you know, her role is weird because then in, in, in Uncharted Lost Legacy, she, yeah, yeah, she's not the villain in that game. She's more of a, a sidekick. But anyway, um, Uncharted, possibly my my favorite game franchise, I, I, I think. I like the Arkham games, those are brilliant games. I like uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid, the first one, phenomenal. Metal Gear Solid 4, phenomenal. Metal Gear Solid 3, I only watched it on YouTube, I didn't actually play it. But it's a pretty old game. On, came out on ps2 but they're remaking it so if they do a good job on that i'll get to exp oh my god please please do a good job they're remaking it right now hd modern graphics everything so i hope they, they do a good job with that and then uh, then I, I get to play in that version which would be dope I played Metal Gear Solid 5, which was, which was cool, but the story wasn't great. So it's between Metal Gear and Uncharted and Batman Arkham for my favorite video game series. I don't think there's anything else. God of War doesn't count as a series. I mean, it, I guess it does. It's, it's two games. I really like those. Lost of Us, two games. I like Lost of Us too. Some people don't like it. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. I thought it was phenomenal. I don't know why people didn't like it. It was very dramatic and very painful. I was very depressed after I played that game. The, the story is so sad and dark and violent and so like. It's. it's it's not for the faint of heart, man. That it is so heavy. Like the themes of revenge and grief, 
and yeah, mourning and all that sort of stuff. It was a lot, man. It was a lot. So, you know, I found myself very like shell shocked after I finished. Like, I was just like, this was a lot. Like, I just felt so like, oh, like, like what happened to me? Like, that was, I've never felt that way playing a game before. That was a unique experience. Um, I would not describe it as pleasant. It was not pleasant. But I still had fun. The game was, I was hooked. I was like, this is a great game. I don't know why people are complaining. I don't understand it. Um, I thought it was great. The genders, because, you know, they were experimenting with the whole gender stuff, but uh, which I'm not in support of but I don't think that takes away from it being a good game though there were people there were a lot of people upset about that and, and for that reason they they, they shot on the game but I'm like even if I don't agree on with some things ideologically that doesn't does that make it a bad, bad game no um I don't, I don't see how that's uh yeah I don't see how that impacts the, the quality of the art necessarily. Um, but yeah, it's just me. It's just me. Let me pray for you and get out of here. My videos keep getting longer. I need to keep it around 10 minutes. I'm creeping back to my old ways of 20 minute videos. So let me shut up. Uh, I like praying at the end of all my videos. Just to impart blessing. I think that's great. And I think it's good to have someone out there praying for you. You know, in the world we're in right now, it's good to have someone praying for you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you have at least one person, at least one, praying for you. And he's praying for you right now. So I hope you can accept the words. Even if you don't necessarily believe in prayer, I hope you can just accept the words and embrace them and listen to them and let them sit on you. And uh, I believe prayer works. I think God is real. God is good. And I think he, he acts on, on behalf of those who speak his name. Uh, okay. Dear Lada, thank you for the individual watching this video. Thank you for making them whole and unique. And they are their own person on their own path. And I thank you that you're establishing this path and guiding them to good places where they need good people and do good things. You've blessed them with an incredible life that they are grateful for. They wake up every morning with the desire to live and to keep living and keep striving and keep achieving. I thank you that you're helping them along the way. You're blessing them with opportunities, whether it be financially, whether it be socially or physically. You're just blessing them with, with good health long life and, and happiness of the, of the spirit, happiness of the mind. They're doing well in their career. They're doing well in school. They're doing well in general life. You've blessed them with a peace that exceeds human understanding. They're at peace in whatever environment, in whatever situation they find themselves in because you've blessed them with peace. I thank you that you've blessed them with your presence and awareness of your presence so that it calms them and, and gives them strength and gives them encouragement in all moments. Thank you, Lord, that you're blessing their friends and family, health and wellness over their friends and family, protection over their friends and family, healing over their friends and family, Lord. I thank you that you're with them. I thank you that you're taking care of them. In my name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Another long video. Look at this guy, man.